Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day for me. Finally get to retire the old GoPro Hero 6. This boy has done most of the filming on the channel. All the stuff you guys have seen, the whole YZ426 build, if you guys watch that. Even back to the CR250 build and way before that. Many of you guys were around back then, the 2004 YZ250F build. That was a while ago though, and this thing's done and all. It's recorded so much footage, and it's pretty roached now. Take a look at that screen. Oh yeah, dropped it, cracked it, but it still works, it still turns on. I'll probably turn on right now. Yep, still works, but you know, it's, it's pretty outdated. They're up to like, what, 14, 15 now, something like that. But anyway, this thing has done a lot of filming for me and it's been good and it's earned its retirement so what are we moving to we're moving to as you guys saw from the thumbnail and the title insta 360 one rs so this is going to be the new camera for the channel it'll do all the videos and stuff that i'm doing so we'll see how it is so i bought this with my own money no sponsorship i don't have any of that my channel's not big enough yet so any of the reviews I'm giving it are not paid off in any way, if you know what I mean. So, there's the new camera. So, some of you guys are probably wondering why I switched. So, the GoPro, they've been, it's been good, but some of the new GoPros, I've seen they've had problems with like overheating and stuff. But I don't know, they're probably fine for most people who are just trying to record their rides and stuff. But, you know, I do a lot more with my footage, and I like higher resolution, higher frame rates and stuff. So, the Insta360, I don't know, it's just an upgrade. I didn't get the one that had the 360 lens just because I'm too cheap for that. Uh, it was only like $300 for this camera. The other one was like $450. And I just couldn't justify getting the 360 lens. I couldn't find enough places that I'd like to use it for it to be worth getting. So... I got just the one with the 4K lens, and I haven't shot any video with it yet, so still br completely brand new. But an like a couple of other reasons I switched from GoPro, uh, this is probably the biggest one. The microphone kind of sucks, so I got this adapter so I can run, so I can charge it and run a microphone through it. And look at the size of this thing. This thing's $40. And it's got this big old connector on it. So I had to get one of these cases and you put the you put the adapter in this bottom part here. And forty dollars for this thing, it's massive, and I've had problems with it. If it's not perfectly connected, it won't record audio. Like if it's the microphone's not connected in here, part of that's operator error. But for the new camera, this is the microphone adapter. So if we compare that, look at the size difference there. And this one just plugs directly in, no hassle, super light, only $10 to quarter the price. And it's got both, both connectors on it. So I think part of the reason why GoPro has this big unit is because they designed the camera first and then after they wanted to design a way to charge and use microphone. And when they were designing the one rs there probably had this in mind so they could make a little unit like this and there's more software in the camera instead of stuff going on in this box i don't know what really happens in there but this thing's way cheaper so that's that's nice and this camera is getting old the battery was starting to not be as good it would only last for a half hour uh these past couple times i've been using it which isn't great but i know if you get a new battery it's better We'll see how the modular design is on this one. It's it's a cool idea, but I don't know if it's the uh, like the best idea for me. I know they have the new Ace Pro camera, but that thing's expensive and it's new and getting new stuff, you know, might be problems with it. It's probably fine, but yeah. So we'll see this new camera should be able to film at higher frame rate and higher resolution. I've been filming with the GoPro on 2.7K, let me see, let me turn it on here, 2.7K 
30 frames per second, I think. Might have been 60. Um, yeah, 60 right now in Superview. A lot of the stuff was filmed with 32. And that's, that's a good setting for most people. I'll have to do some testing with the new one to see like how it how it does, how much storage it takes up. But I'll do some testing and I'll get back to you guys once I get some settings figured out for this thing that you guys can use on your cameras if you have this one. One of the other drawbacks to this one, I think might be, is that the screen is smaller if you compare it to the GoPro. Cameras themselves are very similarly sized. The GoPro is a little smaller, but it's way older too. But the GoPro has a bigger screen. That's all cracked out now, but I don't think that's really gonna be too much of a problem for me. The most I use the screen for is just seeing how much footage I have left and how much battery. That's all I use it for. I don't like actually look at videos on it. The problem I have with this camera is if I were to open a video on it to like play a video, it would just freeze and I'd have to turn, like pull the battery out of it. It would just get stuck and it would never play the video. And then the GoPro app kind of sucks too. You connect the camera and it would either not show up videos or it would show a couple videos and they wouldn't play. And it was a real pain in the ass to get it working. Usually I just plug it into my computer and it works right away. Hopefully this camera connects to the phone a little better so I can pull up my phone and like see how it's doing once it's on my helmet, make sure the angle's right and everything, see how much footage I have, maybe look at some of the videos too. So that, that should be nice. Hopefully the Insta app's better than the GoPro app. And if you see this other camera here, this is the camera I started with, GoPro Hero 4. And it's a great camera. You know, it's it's way older. Won't It doesn't have the power that the new ones do. The worst thing I think is this case really makes it sound bad. And it's just, I don't know, it looks ugly. Makes it sound bad. And the camera itself isn't waterproof and there's no bounce on the camera. I've seen people do some amazing footage with these old Hero 4s, but it's not in these cases that come with them. And the case is good for protection. This thing's barely protected at all. You know, I've gone through multiple lenses with this GoPro. This one's chipped. So we'll see. At least you can take these off. This new camera, you got to get the whole unit here. Unless you get the wide angle, like one inch lens or whatever. So we'll see how that is. And if you guys are wondering, the microphone I've been recording with, it's this little Rode lab bike. Get it wound up and I put it on the helmet and plug it into the camera. It seems to be working better. It's better than the stock GoPro audio. Right now I'm filming with the iPhone. So I got all the cameras right here. I'm gonna start filming with this one for bike builds, whatever I'm doing. Another thing we'll see with this camera is the stabilization. It's supposed to be flow state stabilization. We'll see how it is. I know this this GoPro here, forget what it's called, but it, it was before the hyper smooth, but it was like the second one they had smoothing. Let me see if it tells you over here. It's just video stabilization and it crops the wide FOV a little bit, but you gotta have stabilization. So we'll see how the new camera is. I know like GoPro after this, they went to hyper smooth and then there's something after that. And they had a bunch of different iterations of hyper smooth. We'll see how this one is. Should be good. I've seen videos with it and they look great. Another thing that I think might be better with the Insta or just their brand in particular is they're not rushed as much as gopro i feel like gopro they feel rushed every year to put out a new camera so every year they're like kind of rushing development and sometimes it doesn't lead to the best things where insta it seems like they take a little more time and just release things when when their product's done so it probably leads to better products instead of releasing like a half finished product and then finishing it next year with gopro Another thing that I do like with the modular design is if you do want to go to three, the 360, you can just swap on a new lens instead of having to get a completely different camera like GoPro. If you want the 360, you got to get like the GoPro Max or whatever. But with the Insta, you just swap on a new lens. I know that's not the same with their other cameras like the new Ace Pro. It's just purely an action camera. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I haven't tested this camera at all. Uh, as you can see, it's still brand new. It's a little dusty from the bench here. My beautiful 
nice and clean bench. I did get one of these fast charger things for it that you can charge multiple batteries. I'm going to get some more batteries for these. They were out of stock when I got it. I got it on sale and the case for it. I don't know. We'll see how it is. It looks pretty, looks pretty good. Just slide the camera in like this and you close the case. You got to make sure it's snapped in right. It's, it is nice that all these companies use the same mounts. This is the same mount as the GoPros use. It's nice that that's pretty much industry standard. And then if you want the little mic adapter, just pop it in the side like that. Fairly compact. And I don't have this big old dongle hanging off the bottom. So yeah, I can't wait to try this thing out. I was hoping on trying it out today, but it snowed overnight again. So we'll see when I get around to testing it out. I'll film some videos around here. Give you guys an update on the CR250, which I don't know how many of you guys have been around since I was building that, but I never finished the build. Bikes finished, it's got like 125 hours on it now. I just never got around to finishing the build. So there you go, new camera for the channel. Hopefully I like it. I'll give you guys some feedback on it after I get some time on it and maybe give you guys some settings that I find work real well, like resolution, frame rate, any of the other settings I play with. So it should be fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.